Welcome back. We are here with 1399. Last last year of the century. So exciting. Big stories, big plans. You're going to love this. I'm really excited. So let's get right into it. Let's not even waste any time. We are going to have Benedict's story. And by Benedict, I mean Benedict II, who is currently in an orphanage right now after his father abandoned him and got his entire family killed. Uh, well, technically it wasn't Benedict's fault that his entire family got killed because he was an illegitimate child. But anyway, you remember that. We're also going to marry Alois. I don't even have anyone for him to marry, so we'll probably get a new sim for that. But anyway, birthdays. Let's just hop right in. We only have a couple birthdays. Uh, Salvia Vitor. What is the role for a child? A 4 or an 18? 4 or 18... Nope, she lives. And then we have Isabel Armstrong, who is a 4-8 or a 12. 4-8-12. Okay, she lives. Oh, wait, sorry. This is not child. This is toddler. Oh, well. Okay, I was going to be like, Isabel's not a child already. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, that's toddler. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Catherine Laveson, a 7 seven. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, sorry, Catherine. You are only the first who will die today. Don't you worry about that. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited. You guys, you're going to love this. Ah, okay. Vampire hunting. Let's, I'm just trying to speed through this because let's get straight to the story, right? Okay. Vampire hunting. We have uh, one, two, three, I don't remember who's a vampire here. Four or five. You'd think I'd remember at this point. Uh, we're still at five. Six. And seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ten vampires. They cannot get a nine. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, number eight, nine, ten. Wait, there was only nine. Uh, number eight. Oops, where am I going? I think that was one of Vlad's kids. I'm trying to remember what number. How did? How many did I say there was? Was there nine or ten? Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, um, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so eight died. Not Vlad the second. Okay, Vlad the second died. Vlad two died. Uh, so you will not be aging up here. Okay, and for the humans, they can't get an 18. How many humans do we have? We have one, two. Millicent doesn't count anymore. Three, but now Ganora counts. Four, I'm going by last name. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight humans. We can't get a 13. I mean, 18. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, number five, six. Wait, is number five Charles? Hold on, seven. N number five, number seven. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That better not be Charles. Eight, not... There was only seven. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Is it Charles? Hold on. One, two. No, it's not Charles. Okay. Whew. I was so scared for a second there. Because he used to be number five, but I think Sims have died since then. Okay. One, two. Yeah. Three, four, five. Oh, five is this one. Soxo. Weren't you supposed to be... Are you really still a toddler? 
Uh, yeah, he is. Okay, and then who is number seven? Socks of number five, six, seven. Six, seven. Severin Vitor is number seven. Severin Vitor died. That's unfortunate. I liked him. Well, I did call plenty of vampires uh, with my my plan there. I don't. Yeah, because we only have like six left, right? Oh boy. Okay. All right. So. That's that on that. I will update the spreadsheet and we will head into the game for the story. Alrighty, so we are in the game and you can see we are actually here in the orphanage. So let's talk a little bit about Benedict II. So Benedict II was born as the heir to the Lord, Benedict I, and he was supposed to live a life of luxury and happiness and power. And instead... What happened was his father was found out to be an illegitimate child, and so he was booted to the orphanage, his family was killed, and his father abandoned them to run away to Forgotten Hollow. So, that's what happened in his life. And he knows that the current lord, who quote-unquote took everything from his family, uh, is enemies with Vlad here. So here we are at Vlad's house, and we're going to come and see him, and he's he's kind of like, what are you doing here? Like, humans don't come here. I'm going to eat you. And he's like, look, I know that you are enemies with the Lord. I am too. I want to kill him just as much as you do. And I want to retake my rightful place as the Lord of Henford on Bagley. And Vlad's, of course, rolling his eyes at this kid because he's, he's stupid, let's face it. So, uh, but anyway, so Vlad is like, hmm, I do want to kill the Lord because the Lord just killed Regina. And so he's like, I do want to do that. And if you're going to like be a distraction while I'm there doing that, then I guess we can work together. <laughs> so they are agreeing to work together to kill the Lord. And so that's what's going on. But Vlad just says before he goes, he's like, look, I, I just need to like put my kids somewhere <laughs> in the meantime. Uh, they can't stay here while we, you know, travel to Hanford on Bagley and blah, blah, blah. And so he, we're just going to move some Sims around a little bit so that uh, just in case anything happens that we are able to save the children uh, from being yeeted out of the household. I know I'm thinking really hard about this because we don't actually have room in some of these households. Uh, so let's just move some people around here. We'll send the kids to the castle there. Actually, Vlad should have been living there in the first place. So we'll send him there uh, later. And uh, that's what we're doing. So let's head back. And while all of this kind of preparation stuff is happening, we are going to have Benedict here then go across the street to where he knows his father is hiding. So, um, you know, everybody knows that this is a place to go if you are running away. Several Sims have done so. So we're going to have him come here and confront his father. And that's going to be a tough conversation because, you know, Benedict was the first, was just kind of saving his own skin and left his family to whatever happens. So uh, they're going to argue and he's going to basically be like, you left me behind. You didn't even take me to run away. And Benedict was like, well, I didn't really have the chance. I couldn't go back into the castle there and get you or anything. And he is not happy with any of these excuses or explanations. And he's like, you should have died with mom and blah, blah, blah. And so they're just like having this really bad conversation. And Benedict really, the first, can't really defend himself because he knows that you know, his wife died, his family was killed, that he got away and that it was maybe selfish or cowardly or whatever. So he is going to come here and, uh, you know, he's not doing a very good job of defending himself from these, you know, accusations of his son. And he's like, I am going to get back the life that I deserve, the life that you let them take from us. And so, uh, he is going to basically say, I don't need you anymore. Like, I never needed you, and I just wanted you to know that, you know, you were never a good father or whatever. Because, I mean, he was very young when this, all this happened. So he doesn't really remember all of that. 
So anyway, we are going to have him kill his father. Just a little something he wanted to get done before he took over Henford on Bagley. He was just like, look, I need to wrap up my own childhood trauma. And so here I am. So that is what is going on there. So we're also uh, having a baby. <laughs> a Ganora's baby has been born and it did survive, which is really nice. So Charles the third, isn't that nice that we have a third Charles? So I'm very excited about that. And now we are going to just check all of these things off. Oops, I didn't realize that got crossed off. I should fix that. Anyway, so we're just adding this in. Congratulations on your baby. And now we are going to send some people over to uh, the Armstrong household. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new sim in here. So... What this is, is a, um, you know, say a prince or something, like a higher up person is coming to Henford on Bagley because of all the disruption that has been happening with the vampires and with everything. And so he is coming to Henford on Bagley to visit the Lord's house and figure out what is going on and kind of report back. So he is here to do that. And... Uh, initially, I was going to make him related to them, but it doesn't really matter. So um, that is what's going on here is he is related to them. He is visiting. And this is now also the perfect opportunity for Benedict and Vlad because it is going to make, you know, even if they don't succeed, it is going to make Lord Armstrong look even worse. It's going to make him look incompetent. It's going to, you know, be bad for him. And at least he is going to suffer in some way or another. So they've timed this really well. So I thought about moving them all into the household, but they won't fit. So, you know, that's just the way it is. I'm just going to have to take everybody over there and then we'll be all set. So let's get everybody over here because this is a happening and I'm actually going to live uh, play the next part. So you are going to see what is going on. And the last player that needs to arrive at the household is actually our dear Emmeline. So she will be arriving at the household as well. So now that all of the players are set, let's head into the live portion of the second live portion of this video. Okay, so I wanted to do this part live with you so we can get real time reactions. So uh, we are going to have uh, Vlad and Benedict attack the house and we are going to go through each sim and uh, we're going to roll for them to see if they live or if they die. So if and then if so like we'll roll for each member of this household and then if they live we'll give them a roll chance to attack Benedict and Vlad. And we'll see who survives this. Um, like I said, I did bring Emmeline over because she, you know, she would be here and she is like over here and she's seeing Vlad and she's like, this is not good because she knows Vlad. Remember that? So she, she like was in the house with him for a little while. So uh, she is like, this could be bad. <laughs> um, but anyway, we are going to head upstairs and, um, I guess their computer is broken. But uh, first, I am going to roll for the baby, who, of course, is the easiest target in this household. And I'm really sad about that. But I don't even know where the baby is, to be completely honest with you. Um, we can always find it later because we'll just have to uh, cheat it dead anyway. So let's do this. I'm going to use the... Um, 1, 5, 10, 15 roll. So they have a 4 and 20 chance. So we're going to start with little Isabel. She survived. Okay, little Isabel survived the tragedy. Uh, obviously, she does not have a chance to attack back. That would be weird. Um, and then we'll attack, since Benedict is right here with our visitor, he is going to... Um, attack him and we will see if he kills him so is Archibald dead <gasps> yes he is oh my gosh okay so Benedict is gonna kill Archibald who I literally just made so that's rude of you but 
um, you know, that's what we're here for. Stab him. You got this. <laughs> He's like, ugh, this is so annoying. I just got here and I died. <laughs> Come on. You got this. Is he just not going to do it? I mean, seriously. Why is my life like this? Sims never do what I want them to. Oh, he's going through a phase. Don't run. Don't run. Your time is up. Get him, Benedict. Do do do. This is, you know, Sims are a little unruly, so it's unfortunate. But should we get a picture of him? Oh, he looks like he is enjoying this. He's like, yeah, that's what you get for trying to steal my life. Okay, so one down. Not yet, Isabel. We're going in order from youngest to oldest. Uh, so let's go to uh, Annabelle next, wherever she is. Annabelle. Oh, she's pregnant, though. Uh-oh. We'll come back to her. Well, we're going to roll for her. Okay, she survived. That's good because she's pregnant. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to do there. Okay. So you're all set. Now what about you, the um, Gilbert? No, I want to lock the camera on Gilbert. Is he not here? Emmeline, where is Gilbert? Emmeline. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at her name. I don't know where Gilbert is. I saw him upstairs, didn't I? He ran off. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, it's because he's sleeping? Is that why? Okay. Go after... Oh, wait. So Isabel survived. So now she gets to retaliate. Will she kill Benedict? No. Okay. So neither of them died. And then he's going to come and attack Gilbert, who is basically a stand-in for himself here. Gilbert survived. Okay, will Gilbert kill Benedict in retaliation? No. Okay. Um, so we're going to say that um, Benedict came here because I want Emmeline to be involved in this. So we're going to say that Benedict came in here to kill Gilbert. And when he did... Emmeline, Emmeline, oh my gosh, I'm just never going to get her name right. Emmeline is going to intimidate him. So she's going to be like, back off, you know, what are you doing? You're going to get, you're going to get yourself killed. You just should run while you still can. I bet you'd break apart if I touched you. Oh, he's crying. Yeah, that's right. You should be scared of her because she's tougher than you are. Also, he's hungry. Okay. So Gilbert is alive, and so is his wife, which is good for the next generation here. Okay, so next he's going to go after the lady of the house. <sighs> no, 20 doesn't count, right? No, because it's only 5, 10, 15, and 1. Okay, so... Isabel survives and she's going to try and retaliate and she does not kill him. Nobody is dying. I really thought more Sims were going to die here. Okay, so he fails again to kill the lady of the house and now we'll have Vlad versus the Lord. He's going to be like, I came here to avenge my wife and get revenge for all vampire the vampires you've killed in your hunt against them. Don't walk away, please. <laughs> Um, so he, they are going to have this confrontation. Um, let's see. Okay, so will Vlad kill the Lord? <gasps> he does! Oh my gosh! He does. He kills him. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. The so that means that Gilbert is is going to inherit the lordship like right now. Get him, Vlad. This is revenge for my wife, Regina. Okay, and will anyone be able to kill Vlad in retaliation? No. Oh, man. Nobody died, like, that was in our family tree. <laughs> All right, well, uh, so now Vlad is going to talk to Benedict here. And he's going to be like, I just used you for this and you fell into my trap and the guards are coming and they're going to come and they're going to execute you and I'm not going to help you out of this. And so Vlad is actually also going to kill Benedict because uh, he doesn't need him anymore. And he's basically saying this is a mercy for you. To not be executed like everyone else. You're going to be killed by a cool vampire instead. So, this is also the end of Benedict. He thought he was getting his revenge. He thought that he was going to be able to do anything. But he could only kill one person. And then he failed everything. And he ran away crying when, when Emmeline came after him. And so, that is the end of Benedict the Second. Um, I really wanted his story to be, to be like him trying to get back what he had lost. So that is why we brought him here. But he was never going to succeed because even if he did, how was he going to take control? He's just a kid. He's just a stupid kid that got wrapped up in something. And Vlad got his revenge just like he wanted. And, you know, he just got used. So that is what we're going to wrap up the live section of this and I'm just going to oh shoot his his where would um the grave in his inventory go <laughs> uh, oh man okay um well I'll take this and I'll have to go looking for that later but I'll, I'll try to find uh, the other grave. It's probably in the inventory of the orphanage. So I'll go back and get that later. But anyway, we have Emmeline here still. We don't need these other things. And so uh, I'm going to hop back into not live mode. All right, so... We are back here, and uh, Gilbert is now awake. He sees that his father has died, and everything has happened. And honestly, it was a little more, uh, a little less climactic than I thought it was going to be. But he knows that Emmeline protected him while he was asleep because he woke up during that. And so he is just thanking her, like, you saved my life. And she's like, of course I did, because, you know, they're in a relationship. And so they're all, like, lovey-dovey, even though she's in a relationship with a bunch of people. But um, she, she likes him best because he gives her the best gifts anyway so um he is we're gonna leave him to deal with all of his stuff also new baby at home uh, and we'll have emmeline do her daily chores but also um yes <laughs> so we are going to leave him to deal with all that stuff. In the meantime, he is, you know, becoming the new Lord and all of this stuff is happening. We're aging up the baby into an infant and, um, you know, there's a big changes happening in the area. You know, they're going to say, you know, Lord Armstrong and the visiting prince was killed by the vampire. And it's just, you know, they kill and then the traitor is dead as well. So we're just like, you know, okay. <laughs> so it didn't actually overhaul anything um, because at least they were able to kill Benedict. Even if they weren't able to get the vampire, they're still working on that. But uh, that's okay. And honestly, nobody else wants the post right now. <laughs> Who wants to be here when vampires are breaking into your house and killing your family? Uh, okay, so... 
We are uh, here with Emmeline. Some time has passed now. You know, each day is three months. So time is passing, uh, and we are going to uh, see what happens here. So Gilbert is actually going to come and visit her. He is now Lord Gilbert, and he is going to come see her. And also Annabelle is now the lady, which is what she always wanted. And so he comes to her, he came, he comes to her house and he basically tells her like, you know, thank you again. I'm so grateful. Like you are just amazing. Like I, I don't ever want you to have to want for anything, especially after all that you've done for me and my family. And so he is telling her that uh, he has made sure that she will be all set for the rest of her life. So they are going to woohoo and he is going to give her a very nice gift. Um, so they are just here and he's like, okay, well, I will, you know, meet you at the, the place where I will give you your gift. So um, we are going to head out to the main menu and actually we are going to create another sim. Now this Sim, his name is Thomas Larkin, and he has a bit of a reputation. <laughs> he um, he is the cousin of Gilbert Armstrong. He is not titled or anything, but you know he's a relative, and uh, he's unflirty and he's hot-headed, and he honestly is having a really hard time finding a wife, also because he gambles quite a bit. So that's going on with uh, his life. He is definitely having troubles. So he was already going to be sent to his uncle's estate in order to, uh, you know, straighten him out or whatever, find him a respectable wife and all of that. And um, basically he gets there and his uncle is dead and his cousin is a lord now. And so he's like, what? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so we are creating him, and honestly, I don't know what it is about his face that was bothering me, but anyway, it's fine. So uh, we're here, and so they are going to uh, have him come to the area, and so Gilbert is going to say to him, don't worry, don't worry, dude, I got you. So uh, Gilbert is actually going to marry Emmeline to this Thomas fellow and in doing that like he knows that Thomas is unflirty and a mess and so he knows that he can continue his affair with Emmeline and he can continue to take care of her because he has to take care of Thomas through the estate so he is going to have you know an allocated budget already for that so we are going to um just have them come over here really quick. So yes, this is what is happening currently. This is how we're getting her husband is that she is, you know, married off uh, to basically this moocher who <laughs> lives off of the estate. Uh, but, you know, he's got good blood and he's uh, not probably going to bother them in any way. So, um they're very excited about this. So here we go. Uh, Gilbert is here to introduce them and introduce her to her new house. So he's like, here, I bought you a house, even though it's, you know, technically Thomas's house, but he's like, I got you a house and I got you a husband. So here you go. <laughs> um, and that is Emmeline's reward for, you know, saving his life. So that's what is going on there. Everything is happening, and we are now going to be left alone with our new husband. I mean, I think that she's a little surprised. <laughs> to be honest, she did not think that this was going to happen this way, but she's going to try and get to know him a bit. So let's chat with him, and uh, they are going to, she thinks he's uninteresting. Of course she does. So, uh, you know, this isn't going well. <laughs> This is really not going well. Um, they are very awkward with each other, and uh, they're trying to be friendly, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of, it's very awkward. They're awkward. He's awkward. She is feeling surprised by this whole situation, and so that's uh, what's going on there. He's, I think, like a year older than her, so there's that, and I, I wanted to make sure he was a teen because I wanted uh, 
you know, whatever's going on with the preteen mod. I have not even looked into it. So uh, anyway, so she is still going to take care of the household, even though maybe they could get, you know, a servant or something. But I think it's better to just have us here. So we are going to just have her take care of some things here. And I was hoping that there was like a gambling option. I thought that there was, but now I can't find it. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, maybe that was like uh, the Explore mod, but we will uh, just have to see. So she is doing the la laundry seems to be working again, which is nice. <laughs> Who knows how long that'll last. And we are just going to, again, just clean up the house and make everything nice and um, they're good. We're going to get some chickens. That'll be fun. So that is where we're at trying to somehow make a very strange marriage work. So we're going to just chit chat with him and we're going to send her to cast because, you know, he's feeling awkward. So he's like, why don't you go buy yourself some new clothes? Like that's not fitting for a, a lady. So um, I am going to buy her this nice outfit, you know, buy, quote unquote, uh, this nice outfit, but um, it's not going to be as nice as like the actual lady would have, but it's going to be nicer than the outfits that she had. So that is good. And we're going to just dress her up like this. Very sweet. She looks good in it. She's beautiful. We're going to put her hair up. She is going to be a uh, you know, rising in the class ranks here. So that's what's going on there. And we'll put her hair up and give her just like a little bit of jewelry, nothing like really crazy expensive, just a nice little pendant and some earrings. So that's where she's at. And we'll put her hair up and she looks great. There she is. Look at her. She looks not like a maid anymore. So she's great. And there she is. Oh, she's so beautiful. She, I mean, she always has been, but you know. Also, I wanted to keep her hair curly because her hair already was curly. And we will just update everything here. You can see there she is with her new husband on the family tree. So that's what's going on. She is feeling a little better about things now that she has been given some gifts. <laughs> she likes things. Um, and so uh, we're just going to try and get their relationship up a bit. It's kind of not really working that well. Oh, it became awkward immediately. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is just not working. <laughs> I tried to like arrange a marriage, but it wasn't really working either. I don't know. So uh, let's have her just come here and go to the bathroom, check out some stuff. We're going to try and we're going to continue to try and at least get them to the point where they can woohoo. I mean, seriously. <laughs> so there's a chicken in the house. Uh, but yes, so let's keep trying. But every time I try to have them flirt, it just kind of becomes awkward also they have bad compatibility this is just like so funny that this relationship is going to be a total dumpster fire but uh yes so I'm just gonna you know do my best here to have them not be a total mess uh, I don't know why the mailbox is right there but I'm gonna fix that there we go okay so um we're going to get the mail and she's just going to, you know, go and do some chores. She's just going to be like, okay, I'm done interacting with you. You are a mess and I hate you. So there's that. And we are going to uh, plant the things that we have already in our inventory. We might as well uh, get a garden going. So that'll be nice for her as well to have something to do. And... We are just going to live her life now. So she is, of course, going to keep doing her uh, affair with Gilbert. And uh, we're going to continue to have kind of a bad marriage, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. So there's that. And we are going to just check out. I don't know who's dying on this lot, but somebody is. So there's that. 
but that's okay. Let's try again with him. And it's not working. Oh, it's just getting worse. They just hit, she, they just don't like each other. They have bad compatibility. Okay, so she's she's going to leave. She's going to go out because she needs a break from this guy. So they are, uh, he's going to cool down. She's going to cool down. Everybody is a disaster. So we are actually going to go meet Gilbert at the tavern. So she's going to go meet him there to complain and be like, look, I know you're looking out for me, but... <laughs> <laughs> but he stinks. <laughs> we hate him. <laughs> so uh, she is going to come up here with Gilbert. And she's just going to complain to him. She's going to be like, look, he's awful. Like what? And he's like, I know he's awful, but you won't have to really deal with him that much. Uh, we'll still have each other, you know, all that stuff. So there's that. So they are going to, again, woohoo, because these two are actually in a relationship, even though they're both married to other people. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so she's just complaining to him about the situation. And he's like, don't you like your house? Don't you like your clothes? Don't Isn't this better than before? And she's like, I guess. It's not like she liked his father anyway, and she had to work for him. So uh, there's that. Obviously, we're not going to prom. Uh, but, yes, so... There it is. Uh, oh, hey, Annabelle. Ooh, they have a... Oh, everyone's mad that they didn't invite each other to prom. That's so stupid. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to go back home and try to make do with this guy who is now our husband. So let's... It looks like, actually, though... Uh, let, okay, let's have them go to the theater together. And they'll do that. Oh, a baby. Okay. And Annabelle is having her baby. It's a girl. But we already know it's twins. So Gilbert the second will be born. And Annabelle just rolled to die in childbirth. So <laughs> Annabelle just died in childbirth, giving birth to the twins. She was only lady for a short time. You kind of deserved it, my girl. And, uh... Anyway, both the kids survived, so there is an heir to the Armstrong household, but there's only one. Who knows if he's going to survive this whole time? I don't even know. So we're vaguely worried about that, but, um, you know, sorry, Annabelle. So, yeah, she just died. And I'm really not sure, like, where we're going to deal with that, but... We'll come up with it later in the next century. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> so again, we're here. I'm trying to make them friendly. I did notice that when I clicked on the toilet, she had the throw up option. So she's obviously pregnant with Gilbert's baby. So she needs to woohoo with her husband so that he is none the wiser. So uh, she, we're going to try really hard to do that. Come on, you guys. Just no, stop making it negative. <laughs> stop. Okay, okay, okay. They're doing it. All right, so now she can definitely pass this baby off as his, and also they're cousins, so they look vaguely alike. So, you know, the baby will um, look like it belongs in the family anyway. So we're in good shape. She's about to have an affair baby. Who knows? If it's a boy, maybe it could be the, the same deal as Benedict. But anyway, I hope that you really enjoyed this century, the 1300s, our first century. I'm so excited about it. We're heading into the 1400s in the next one. I'll probably do a recap video before that. But I am so, so excited and so happy with the way that this has been turning out. And thank you so much for joining me on this. And I love seeing everybody else's channels and videos and I'm just like really into the historical gameplay right now and I am really feeling pretty accomplished after finishing 100 episodes of this so I hope that you're excited for the next century too and I will catch you in the next one